Nancy Weathington with you here. I'm going to show you how to do the binding that I used for my next Button Form Club book. This is actually a book in a box. It uses Graphic 45 box plus papers from Stamperia and Chow Bella. And I've used the side of the box as the binding. We're going to add a binding, a handmade binding, into the book. And this is how you do it. This particular binding is called Hidden Hinge, and it was originally um, done by Kathy Orta King. I'm doing it a little bit different than what Kathy does it, just because it has to fit into the box. And so I'm taking some uh, different elements and using them in a different way. So we're going to start with a six inch wide by six and a quarter tall piece of cardstock. And you're going to score it as follows. The first score on the six inch side is going to be at one quarter inch. The next score is going to be another half inch. So we're going three quarters of an inch. Add a half inch, the next score is at one and a quarter. Add a half inch, the next score is at one and three quarters. Add a half inch, next score is at two and a quarter. Next score, adding a half inch is at two and three quarters. Next score is at three and a quarter. Then three and three quarters. Four and one quarter. Four and three quarters. Five and a quarter. And five and three quarters. So that when you're finished scoring, you're going to have a quarter inch edge at the beginning of the score marks. Half inch edges in be are half inch score marks in between with a quarter of an inch score at the end. This is what's a little bit different because I've changed the score marks a little bit, but you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to remove my scoreboard at this point, and now I've got score tape to use, and I'm going to add score tape actually on the back side of this um, because we're using basil cardstock for this so one side is smooth and the other side has a texture to it so let's put the score tape on the smooth side so we're going to take the score tape and put it on the first half inch score mark so we're going to do this and you're going to put the score tape right in the middle I'm using quarter inch score tape. Then we're going to skip two half inches. So score tape on the first half inch, skip, skip. Next one, score tape. Right in the middle, skip, skip. Next one, score tape. In the center of that half inch score, skip, skip half inch score tape. Now some people are really neat with their score tape. Clearly I'm not. So I'm just going to now take my scissors and just cut off the overhangs. Some people just cut right from the very beginning. I guess it would be the smarter way to do it, but I'm not that smart. Okay, so now what we have, the first half inch has score tape. We skip two half inches. Next half inch, score tape. Skip two half inches. Next one, score tape. Two half inch skips. Next one, score tape. And one left over. So I'm going to try to get this a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see that a little better. Okay, so now what we're doing is making what I call fins that are going to eventually look like this. 
but we, to do that we have to attach one score tape half inch to the next score tape uh, sorry to the next half inch with no score tape so you're going to remove the top of the score tape and bend it on the scored lines from the half inch with the score tape to the next half inch with no score tape. Now remember we still have that quarter inch so I'm going to bend that quarter inch backwards and I'm going to go to my next score tape line remove the score tape bend that score tape up whoops, on the score line to the next free half inch bend it backwards and now it looks like this take my next half inch score tape bend that towards the next up from that bend it back and my last one take the score tape off crease it on the score marks and bend it backwards. So now what I have is this odd looking thing but if we turn it around and start bending these fins back we get this and this, be this is going to become our binding. So if I was doing a regular book, not this book in a box, I would take cardstock, I would trim the edges of this binding, and I would fit my cardstock onto the binding, gluing it to that fin, and that becomes my page. But that's not what I'm doing here. I'm taking a clue from my friend Claire who has online tutorials as well. And she has devised a system where she takes her page and attaches it to either the front or the back of the fin. In this case, I'm attaching it to the front of the fin. I would glue here, attach my fin, and this becomes my page. And that's what I did here. This is all written in the directions for you. So you can see here, here's my fin. Here is the original fin. I've attached my page to the fin. I've made a pocket out of my page. And I've taken pieces just one quarter inch wide pieces of leftover paper and I've covered well once my page is attached I've covered the fin and the um, gusset in between so here's the fin covered and here's the gusset in between covered and that's the binding that we're going to use so I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope uh, you don't find it difficult. It really isn't. If you just follow along, it's so easy to do, and I think you'll love the binding. The reason why I'm attaching the fins the way I'm doing rather than the way um, some of the girls do, and, and I do the other method also where I take my page and attach it. Sorry get my hands working here, attach it over the fin, and I do like that. But this way, by attaching the fin to the back of the page, it allows your pages to lay flat when the book is open, which normally you couldn't do because there's too much weight in between the fins but this allows you to do that. So that's why I'm using this particular method. And I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for watching.